what's good fam welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new and i want to say thank you so much for getting this channel over a thousand subscribers thank you so much for being here welcome back welcome back welcome if you are new i'm faith i am a licensed nail tech uh for four years i enjoy sharing content and nail ideas so if there's something that you like and enjoy consider hitting that subscribe button also turning on those bell notifications and um, don't be afraid to comment down in the comment section below let me know what type of videos you like do you like the full tutorials me explaining everything um do you like to watch me works let me know exactly what it is that you like to see and we can get it popping we can make some shake definitely let's get into this nail tutorial y'all because i'm excited i love when fall come around as you can tell from that thumbnail we are doing fall nails as you can see from the beginning of the video i showed you this uh it's called coco shimmer 96 that's from igel beauty y'all i still have a lot of the igel beauty colors i'm going to use them until i completely run out of them why not they're good for using um the tutorials and things like that um if you want to catch up on the latest videos head on over to my channel and you can catch up on all the different playlists that i have the shorts that i do so on and so forth get into this nail design y'all um i'm going to be using uh like i said that color from igel beauty coco uh, shimmer 96 as well as mia secrets cover pink and of course clear acrylic to cap let's talk about it if you are a beginner um to nails then your color colors right they are not what we call stability powders so later on in the video you're going to see me come back and cap these nails um capping is capping with clear acrylic to strengthen the nail because the color acrylics contain way too much pigment to actually be a strength powder if you leave them on their own they are eventually going to break so that's why you want to cap colored acrylic moving on to the ring nail i am going to do like an all fall um leaves and i'm laying down some clear acrylic and i'm laying it rather wet rather than picking up like a regular bead i'm making sure that that color is wet so that the uh, leaves can actually stick to it i'm using the size 16 brush because i feel like i'm able to do uh, the nail design much faster with a size 16 but you want to use whatever brush you're comfortable with and i say if you're starting out with acrylic whatever size brush you decide to use stick with it stick with that brush for a while um a lot of people suggest that beginners should start off with like a eight a ten no honey start with whatever brush you want to start with uh, just keep in mind that uh, smaller brushes will not hold as much monomer as the larger brushes um i started off with an eight but quickly moved to a 10 and quickly then moved to a 12. um and then a 14 once i won this little brush i won a nail uh, school competition and i got some nail supplies and stuff like that and my teacher had picked up some brushes you know and stuff like that and i won that um challenge back in nail school if you want to check out the nail blogs they like three years old but they're on the channel i did as many as i could let me um, explain for those who are new um, I'm actually autoimmune, but I decided to go to nail school. It's a long story. I have that on my channel as well. You can go ahead and check that out. And yeah, I'm not going to go too far into that because, you know, you can go check it out if you want. Any other questions, like I said, I always feel more than comfortable to drop those in the comment section. If you're not one to comment on the YouTube videos, I understand people are shy. Some people here are just here just to watch and not comment um if you do have a question that you just don't feel comfortable leaving down in the comment section below you could always send me a message over on instagram my social information is actually linked in the description box below even though i've been doing nails for a long time there are still some areas uh with working with acrylic that i kind of struggle with speaking of which 
let's talk about this middle nail. So I want to challenge myself to do an acrylic French. I have not done an acrylic French in a really long time. We're talking maybe a couple of years. So I'm going to get off into doing more acrylic Frenches. Um, they take a little bit more time than, of course, you know, drawing on your French and going from there. But I find that using the gel polish is the easiest way to do a French. But I love how the acrylic Frenches look because you get such a crisp line. So what I did was start off with one bead and kind of mold it the way that I wanted my French to look even though it actually did not turn out the way that I really wanted it to look but hey let's let's just go with it don't really get so caught up in uh, shaping it too much just get your basic shape down where you want the sides of the French to come up and you I'm going to file this anyway and then it's going to be nice and crisp and all pretty and everything's going to look all great uh, in the end but I'm once I'm done with this French I am going to allow it to set and I'm going to move on into uh, the index nail and working on that on the index nail we're going to do an ombre using the fall leaves at the bottom and then I'm going to ombre the uh, Mia Secret cover pink into that one as well as on the thumbnail I'm going to use the cocoa shimmer color at the bottom that one's going to be an ombre as well and I'm going to use the Mia Secret cover uh, pink to ombre uh, that nail down as well. Once I come back to the middle nail, I'm going to, um, of course, file it into shape the way that I wanted it to be. I wanted this to be a deep French, but it didn't quite turn out that way. <laughs> um, but then I'm going to put that cocoa uh, shimmer color on the bottom of that one as well. I'm not going to show the entire process in this video. I can do uh, detailed videos separately. If that's something that you want to see again, just comment and let me know and I can make that happen. I'm going to leave you guys here and let you enjoy the rest of the video. So if you like this content, uh, consider subscribing. Also turn on that post notification so that you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. If you like the video, go ahead and smash the like button. And that helps me with the YouTube algorithm to show YouTube that you guys like the content that I bring. And that helps me out. So again, I do want to say thank you so much for being here. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and be blessed.